is a brief exercise 10-8, and sometimes these are good to work through. Um, this company traded a used truck, cost 20, depreciation 18, for a computer worth 3300 They also paid 500 So right there, you've got most of the information you need for your journal entry, uh, but the first thing you might want to do here is, oh, it says it has commercial substance, and so the thought process is, okay, it has commercial substance, we will recognize all gains and losses on this transaction. It's just kind of like a regular transaction. Um, so to compute the gain or loss, we get the cost less the accumulated depreciation gives us the book value of the truck, okay? We're also we're giving up the 2,000 book value plus we're paying out 500 bucks. So the, what we're giving up in this exchange is $2,500. And what are we getting? We're getting something worth 3300 So if we go down here a little further, we will see we have a gain on this exchange of $800. So you want to get to the book value of your, what you're giving up, plus any cash paid gives you the total of what you're giving up. I mean, that makes sense. And then the fair value of what you're receiving is this, the 33 So you've made out $800 gain. All right, so then, Based on the information we have, you can do the journal entry. The new computer comes on at its fair value. You take off the accumulated depreciation. You take off the truck, as you would in a regular uh, disposal journal entry. And I've kind of reviewed that uh, in the notes if you're interested. Uh, you pay out the 500 cash, and there's your gain, and it balances. OK, so that has commercial substance. Let's look at the next one. Uh, this is nine, and this one lacks commercial substance, and it is the same transaction. So we have to go th accept that it lacks commercial substance. So um, we're going to defer all the gains and recognize the losses, okay, because cash is paid on this transaction and not received. So, um, and the cash is an insignificant amount of the transaction, far less than 25%. Okay, so we still compute the, um, the gain on the exchange. That's still, still going to remain, whoops, at the eight, 800, okay? But when we um, prepare the journal entry, that entire gain is going to be deferred. And how do we do that? We simply bring the equipment on at the 2,500 that we pay, we, that <laughs> the book value plus the 500 we paid. So the equipment comes on the books at this amount, the accumulated depreciation comes off, the truck comes off, and there is the cash. So in other words, in this transaction up above, you had the $800 gain. Here we've simply reduced the, the asset value by that 800, so that that will be essentially made up over the life of the asset but we do not recognize a gain uh, on this transaction when it lacks commercial substance, okay? All right, so let's see what else we have here. Um, this one has commercial substance. Uh, they trade a used welding machine. They give us the information. It costs 9,000, accumulated depreciation of three. For office equipment, equipment worth five, and they also paid 3000 in the transaction. So let's see how this works out. We start off by computing the gain or loss. So here's our cost plus accumulated depreciation at a book value of six, plus we paid out 3000 So the welding machine uh, would be at $9,000. Uh, the fair value of the computer received in the trade is only five, so here we have a loss on the exchange. Okay, so how do we do this journal entry? Well, uh, basically the office equipment comes on at the fair value. There's the accumulated depreciation. There's the old machine going off. Here's the cash, and there is our loss. Okay? All right. Now we've got a situation where it lacks commercial substance. Um, we've got a truck that's 30000 Accumulated depreciation of 27, new truck is worth 37, and there's a cash payment of 36. Okay, so just looking at this, what percentage of that transaction is that 37, uh, uh, 36,000 cash? 
and it's more than 25% of the value of the transaction. So because of that, uh, we're, uh, we're going to treat it uh, as a regular uh, transaction as if it had commercial substance. So when we do this, we compute the gain or the loss. Here's the cost, let's accumulate a depreciation, book value of the old plus the cash paid, um, the new truck received, we've got a loss. And so we, the new truck comes on at the fair value. Is there accumulated depreciation? Is there a loss? The truck comes off, and that's the cash we paid. Okay. So that's the tricky one when the cash is a large percentage of the transaction. Okay, one more here. Um, let's, the with commercial, I guess, yeah, that, this one is with commercial substance. I'll leave you to look at that. But I'd say just work through a few of these and see how it goes. Um, I do give you um, things like this in the notes that might be helpful in thinking through what's going on. Um, I mean, I try to be as helpful as I can. Okay. Mm -hmm.